Hey, all right, everybody, how's it going? Episode six on the e-bike build. And this episode, we're going to look at the differences between the frames, well, the European frame and the Chinese frame. In the last episode, I am, I was unboxing some stuff. So we'll have a look at what I got at the, at the, at the end of this video. But first of all, let's have a look at the differences between a European built frame and a Chinese built frame. In, in my experience, because I've had both. So let's have a look, is it? Hoi! Right, before I start looking at the frames, I just want to say I got the frame from vectorebike.com and uh, I just want to say if you ever want to buy one yourself, you've got to email them and I had to pay, I had to sign up for TransferWise to actually pay them. Uh, so it's a little bit awkward. They got a website, but you've actually got to deal with them via email. Uh, so there's a bit of a delay getting them back and forth. I got there in the end. It took about a month, I think, altogether to get the parts because they had to wait for the parts to come in, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I think the price, it was an offer at the time and I paid uh, 398 euros for the frame and I had other parts as well. With all the other parts, it was £60 delivery. I'll, go, I'll say about that a little bit later on. But it was €398, Euros, so I'll put that in pounds and dollars, but they're here somewhere. Uh, and it all came well packed. Once it was sent off, it only took a couple of days to come. But anyway, I'm waffling on now. Vector bikes is where I got it from. I'm, all, I'm also um, been, I've, I'm emailed uh, another company called Aleek. And they do the same frame. I don't know if they build the frame for Vector or, or what happens. I don't know exactly. But um, I've just ordered some stuff from Aleek. Uh, and I've had to email them and pay pay them in with TransferWise as well. So hopefully that turns up. Anyway, let's go on to comparing the frames. So let's take a look at the differences with the, the frame from Vector Bikes. And... You can see this bottom plate here is completely different to the Chinese Enduro frame. So this is one of the differences. Up here you've got these triangulation points, one there and then one up inside there you can see there, look, which gives it much more strength. Well, that's what they say anyway. And then you come down here and here is another strengthening plate, which is different to the Chinese one. If you look in here, I think this plate, this is removable. I, I can't remember if there was nothing there at all on the, on the Chinese Enduro frame. So that bit's different there, that bit's different, that bit's different, that bit's different. <laughs> You've got these, oh, I forgot, these triangle points there and there. So that, let me come back a bit so you can see there and there. And then up the top part, this piece, this piece here is completely different as well. And it's, it's welded in lovely along here, this, the front tube there. And if I go inside and look, they've given you these little rubber grommets to do all the wiring. And you can see in here, is, the welding's much better as well. Up there, I don't, see what, I don't know what it's like up this way, so look. Um, obviously these are the four bolts for um, these four bolts here and there are for the seat that's for the shock there I think this plate this plate's different as well I'm sure it is so you can see it's when you look at the frames from the outside they look the same shape but when you start looking at all the different bits. Oh, another bit down here as well. Um, the where the swing arm mounts, the Chinese frame's got a welded in. It's like a welded in tube, but this one's got a like an, an insert, which they say is better as well because it doesn't deform instead of welding it. And also the swing arm. If that's going to focus, the swing arm on this one. It kicks out there, look. It kicks out there, and we've got washers in there, 
Whereas on the Chinese enduro frame, it's more of a straight arm with... I'll have to show you a picture of... It's got like a... I can't explain it. I'll show you a picture of that. So the swing arm is slightly different as well. Also, the... The top covering is like this sort of carbon fibre effect with a different material, quite a sturdy material and it's exactly the same on the bottom as well. So there's quite a lot of differences. Quite a lot of differences in the frame. Uh, so there we are. I'm going to say that this frame is a lot better. So I'd go for this frame, I would, personally, with all these extra bits. And the welding is not so snotty and bitty as the Chinese frame I had. I'll show you a picture of the Chinese frame. Some of the welding was a bit ropey. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, but it was, you know, you, you get, you're getting a better frame here for the price. Anyway, that's that. Right, so here I am. I've dragged the uh, press out of my mouldy shed. I, uh, in one of my other videos, I showed my shed is full of mould. So I've had to drag the press out. I had to go in with a mask on because mould is bad for you. Drag the press out into the garden because I've got to press the head bearing cups into the head part of the bike because they don't come installed. So anyway, let's watch me do that then. So you can see that I like to add grease to everything. And I mean, a bit of grease can't do any harm, can it? Or, oh, unless you put on your brake discs, then you're in trouble. <laughs> so I'm adding grease to the uh, swing arm bearings because I'm about to install the axle bolt on the swing arm. So a bit more grease on the axle bolt and it comes with three washers. Uh, one goes on the end of the axle bolt with a nut, and then the two go on the inside of the swing arm mounts. I put some grease on the swing arm mounts so I can stick the washers on there so I can slide it in. The washers should stay in place with the grease and then everything's easy peasy. Well, hopefully anyway. <laughs> So after fitting the swing arm, I am onto the top shock mount, and that takes two M8 bolts.
Then I move on to fit in the shock. And the shock I'm fitting is a DNM RCP 2AR. Uh, it's a 650 pound spring and the length is 240 millimeters. Um, it was 56 ish euros. I'll put the price up in the corner of dollars and pounds and everything. After that, I grease all the bolts and do them up. So after looking on a few websites, I can see that the shock absorber is mounted this way up. You see it? That's why other people have done anyway. So I've, I've turned it around. I mean, if the shops are doing it, that must be the right way. So that's the way I've done it. And somebody did ask, what was the um, diameter here for a, a big wheel? So I'll insert a photo of the width of the swing arm where the tire goes. Right, so there you go. It's almost 94 millimeters wide where the wheel and the tire would sit. So uh, the person was asking, would a 100 times 90 times 19 tire fit? Uh, seeing as the width is only 94 millimeters at the best, a 100 millimeter tire is not going to fit. I, I'd say even a three and a half inch, the tires I got on are um, three inch wide or 80 millimeter. Uh, so you can't go much further than that. I mean, three and a half at a push maybe would be the max. But a four inch tire, it'd just be touching the side. Well, it wouldn't even fit in there, would it? Um, so there we are. Uh, another part I, I've had is this it's the Moto seat. That's from. Vector as well. Very well made. Really nice. I think that was about, oh, I'm going to say 60 euros ish. I'll put the price over by here somewhere. And uh, that's really nice. I'll fit that on the next one because it's got four bolt holes and the two holes at the back on the frame, they're very, very tight. You can either put the bolt through. So I'll have to do a little bit of filing. Because the, cause the frame's powder coated. Um, I've got to do a little bit of filing urine because powder coating is quite thick compared to paint. So a little bit of filing urine on certain parts. Like when I put the back wheel in, the, the dropouts are going to have to have a little bit of a file because the, 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 the axle is not going to fit in. So there we are. So that's another part. Um, the other part I had was a stand but I'll show that in the next video so if you've uh, if you've enjoyed this video give it a like because it helps the video it helps the traction of the video and it also helps me so give it a like even if you don't like it I don't mind if you dislike it just do something <laughs> right also if you don't mind subscribe uh, that would be great and uh, thanks for watching Hoi! oh by the way the dog's barking if you go in the background must be somebody at the door. So, toodaloo. <laughs>